In 2000, the residents of Broward County voted the Children's Services Council into existence. What started as the creation of a brand new government, one dedicated to transparency and accountability, soon blossomed into a source of leadership, advocacy, database solutions, and funding for a diverse network of providers, all of whom were dedicated to improving the lives of Broward's children and families. That network was built on trust, relationships developed through listening, responding, and maintaining a focus on our children. We don't succeed unless the providers succeed. The providers don't succeed unless the children succeed. And it's all about the children. Those central tenants that guided everything, along with that quality, collaborative continuum of care, meant that we rewarded people for working together. So from the very beginning, we talked about what was important in the role that we were under, going to undertake in our community. And we all agreed that when it came down to it, we had to always be thinking of that child that needed our assistance. And how were we going to be able to assist that child. The community had to be a very important part of whatever system we were going to build. And I explain that we are an independent taxing authority um, formed and created to provide additional funding for children and family services and that voters voted to tax themselves more so that we could be created, so the children and families could have the necessary resources. And I became a troublemaker then. Um, and so that, when I say it was a troublemaker, was basically letting our community stakeholders know that um, we don't just want to hear these abbreviations or these terminologies. We need to understand what they are. Um, and we are at the table. And so being a part of the table is not just having the voice of just being a token. Um, but actually taking what we say and um, implement that into you know, the community is actually making sure our voices are heard and taken serious. Um, and so for the last, um, I guess, 18 years, um, that's what I've been doing, um, fighting for our young people uh, to have a voice um, at the table. I think the fact that they came from behind their darn desks and start engaging and respecting the input of the people in the streets, I think that helped them. And I think it endured, it, it, it endeared them to the community, which is why we thought they were untouchable a couple years ago when they had to be reauthorized. In fact, some of us got a little bit offended that you would even say that we have to ask again for them to be funded. And again, it's not a perfect relationship between Children's Services Council and some of our communities, but the fact that there is this rhythm, there's this synergy, there are these results that come from just respecting each other enough to listen and then show me that you're gonna listen with your actions. You know, uh, CSC uh, involved with um, some federal grants that were awarded to Broward through the Human Services Division, like OCP1 and OCP2, uh, that expanded the infrastructure and collaboration between system partners and delivery of service for children and adults with mental health challenges. Uh, all those things were important, and they also had a very multicultural and linguistic lens. And I'm talking way back, you know, at the beginning. So and we continue to do so. And, you know, I think the Children's Services Council really is so embedded in our community now, and and it's so well known that, um, how how important it is for the quality of life of children. That and we all just have awesome awesome folks who live here who who get it. I'm, I'm so proud of what we were able to do and that we left a legacy in our community that was dedicated to making sure that every child in Broward County has an opportunity to succeed here and that we're not going to leave any child behind. That's why I continue the work because when I see the CEO comes from behind the desk and they're in the community and you know they're not just doing the photo op but they're actually doing the work. Um, you see the secretary from, from an organization is actually out in the community. It shows that they're really invested. Um, and we still have a lot of work to do, but I think we're, we're, we've made major um, headway um, and we do a lot of work that other communities don't do when I visit. So 
that's what keeps me going. It's knowing that, you know, when we talk about it takes a village, um, we have our village. Um, Broward County has a great village. Part of CSC Broward's long-term success is connected directly to our commitment to being part of our community, celebrating its successes, experiencing its trials, and listening and responding to others so we can address the issues we can address and being part of the greater network that continually pushes our community forward.